When the Skoda Octavia was first launched in India in 2002, I was just three years old. And by the time I was legally able to drive, the Mark III Octavia was on sale in India. That is Soham's current car, Project Octi. Check it out if you'd like. Now, considering that all I heard growing up was that the Octavia and the LoRa platform was always a great canvas to build in India, I was very surprised to hear that the Mark IV Octavia isn't really that. Why is that? Well, today we're going to take a look at the Mark IV Octavia and spoiler alert, it's really nice, just not in the way you and I would imagine. When it comes to the design, the Mark IV Octavia looks like the natural evolution of the Octavia family to my eyes. When it comes to the front, you have a sleek set of headlights that are LED. You have a rather prominent grille that looks like a very serious moustache. But to add a little bit of humour to that grille, they've adorned it with a chrome bit that makes it a bit more luxurious. Moving on towards the side profile, you can see the 17-inch five twin-spoke alloys that look pretty nice in this brew colour. And you also can notice that the Mark IV Octavia retains that fast silhouette of all of the Octavias previously. The trend continues in the rear end with slimmer tail lights and an overall much sleeker, more bolder appearance. And that boldness continues on the inside. Step inside and you're greeted by some very fancy graphics in the interior of the Mark IV Octavia. Mind you, the Mark IV has taken a pretty large leap in terms of interior quality compared to the Mark 3.5 Octavia that was on sale in India. It is now much more minimalistic with a small knob to control your gears and you also have a pretty large screen that controls most of the controls and you have minimal buttons to handle pretty much very little. One that just does your climate control, one that does your defogger in the front and the rear and your park assist. That's it. Oh yeah, and your hazard light and your lock button. Everything else needs to be handled from the screen. When it comes to fit and finish, I really like the soft touch plastics and the piano finish blacks, but the Alcantara style seat or suede style seat can really get dirty very fast, which is something you should consider. Overall, this is a very nice place to be in with great quality interiors, amazing fit and finish and a pretty nice mood lighting which comes to life at night. One of the key reasons for this is the variant itself that came to India. The Mark IV Octavia in India came only with a Gen 3B E888 2.0-litre TSI engine which is designed to be nice to the environment and economical to drive. While this is great for the average consumer looking for a refined everyday ride, it makes things a bit more challenging for tuners. Unlike other E888 models, this car comes with a pretty high compression ratio from factory itself. The other E888s had blocks that could take much bigger jumps in terms of power compared to their stock figures since they had so much more headroom when it came to adding more boost from a tuner's point of view. This Gen 3B is under high stress in stock form, so even if you tune it, the limit of the engine is closer than you'd anticipate. Compared to the Gen 3A like in a VRS, this engine is capable of maybe 300 horses on stock internals. Even the 1.8 TSI Gen 3 can handle more than this, so there are better canvases for your project. Yeah. Bummer. That being out of the way, let's talk about how it is just as a car, shall we? The suspension is sprung more towards comfort than sporty handling, but it's still firm enough to avoid being too floaty on twisty roads. But hey, it does feel mighty impressive and well-built and overall like a very premium product. Where the Mark IV really excels is when you want to enjoy a relaxed drive. The Mark IV Octavia does a great job at isolating you from the outside world and bringing a level of luxury that is usually seen in a segment above. Despite not being a super potent car, this Gen 3 B E888 engine comes with 187 bhp and 320 newton meters of torque, and uh, that is its stock form. You can safely go maybe up to 300 bhp, which sounds like a pretty healthy amount, 
but anything above that um you are going to be playing with the death of the engine if you know what i mean but um the gen 3a can take so much more we have seen gen 3a's go up to 400 450 bhp and they run reliably as per uh, what we've seen so yes this doesn't have as much scope but it still does quite a lot and you still have quite a lot of room to play with if you want some more power when it comes to dynamics i really like the way the brakes feel uh when you stamp on the brakes the car stops very confidently and uh, even when you are going to be attacking corners yes it's not a very stiff car but it's still quite taut and if you are out to have fun you can use the manual paddles on the steering wheel that add quite a bit of involvement to your drive too all in all this car is meant to be a comfortable car and that's exactly what it does best it's a quiet refined smooth car to drive and most of its power is available in the mid range making it easier to drive around in traffic that being said the mark 4 octavia still has plenty to offer if you actually are going to be pursuing speed from the gen 3b engine you can be pretty relaxed about the gearbox because this is a dq381 gearbox and it can handle quite a lot of power this is the same gearbox that comes in the vrs245 and uh, yeah you as i said before vrs245s can go really far with that gen 3a engine overall for those who prioritize a comfortable drive with modern conveniences in a luxurious package the mark 4 octavia makes really good sense it's just not the same blank canvas that we enthusiasts always loved about the octavias now if you ask me if i'd buy this car in the second hand market as an enthusiast to build it well no but if i had a family and wanted something that felt fancy and new for a good price in the second hand market i'd definitely consider it but finding one nowadays is really difficult because the people who have actually bought this car are loving it so much that they're not planning on selling it anytime soon so if you're interested in picking up one such mark 4 octavia head on to www.thedrivershub.com/tdhclassifieds for all of the details In conclusion the Mark 4 Octavia might not be the tuner's playground that the earlier models were but it's still an excellent car. If you're searching for a car that is dependable, comfortable and luxurious plus it fits in all of the places that you would like it to, this pretty much ticks all of those boxes. Yeah, it might not excite the tuner but it delivers on everything it was designed to do so. So, is it the Octavia we were expecting? No, not really, but Is it still a good Octavia to consider in the second hand market? Yes, absolutely.